Okay, the game of manipulation. Um, to have to admit, since my targeting had begun, I've I have to admit I've have lost a lot of friends, people who I used to really confine in and call friends are really close to me, and it's tough. There are no longer friends because I felt like you know all these friends are being manipulated to work against me and it's all done intentionally to create like a uh, stress high stress situation and depression or or get you get your mind worked up getting you think you know all day and negatively about what's going on and 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 that stuff like that question things in life and and um i had a really good friend um uh, in toronto i consider him a friend but i always felt he was part of the agenda you know but it's fine you know while i was in his place his apartment uh, i could hear things through the vent going through the vent like a, it sounded like a, a little machine going you know when i i look at the vent and it stops this whatever it is is making noise stops uh, i just felt uh, the reason why I'm saying that because I felt like he was part of it because he kept one he, one time he saw me looking at the vent and because he knew I heard it I heard something coming through the vent and he tried to justify his he's telling me oh something is the air coming through the, the vent or whatnot and trying to justify what I have heard like you know is not really happening and stuff. And I looked at him and like, and I said, I questioned, and then I just said to myself, like, oh, you're definitely in this, you know? But in my head, I said it, you know? I said it in my head because I just kind of, I think it's like, oh my God, they got to you? They got to you too? Kind of thing. And I really did consider him as a friend. But uh, things happen that is progresses and he's uh he started to treat me unjust kind of um his treatment it becomes really uh correlated you know it's uh, it's been like you know every time i talk about something he he take kind of attacks on me and stuff whatever but it's life, you know. You're gonna meet people like that who are a sellout, who would sell you out in a gif, you know. I have friends for longest time that I considered them really good friends, um, who were sellout. So do not, if this what happening to you or what's happening to me, happened to you, do not really uh, get upset and worked up over it. Um, and um, worked up over it because, you know, people going to be a sellout because we all have choices. You know, when I was asked before to sell my soul and uh, to these people, and I said no, because, you know, souls are priceless. Why would I sell you something that is going to help my soul evolve, you know, in, into different worlds? You know, I mean, gift from God. Why would I do something like that? I know celebrities do it for fame and, and wealth and stuff like that, but they don't know what they have done. What they have done is, is great in God's eyes. It's like, it's a big, big mistake. I am I'm smart enough to know I could never sell my soul because I know what a soul is. You know what I'm saying? And a soul is given to you as a gift to help you learn to help you develop and help you evolve as a human being you know when you die your soul goes into you know a certain you know a heavenly realm and stuff like that it's like it's you going into to be upgraded you know what i'm saying to be and then you in another life be put back and you your soul help you kind of next time evolving like we come into this world that we learn like isn't this being targeted individual uh is it learning experience you know what i'm saying this is a learning experience for your soul i know it's a little wicked not like it's a lot it's, it's very wicked 
but hey it's gonna help yourself evolve it's gonna help yourself understand wicked does exist you know evil is real you know i mean fear is fear is, is not really it's not real you know fear is is not real but evil is you know you have to understand that so for you to experience evil you, you help yourself understand evil is actually a living thing evil is a living breathing thing you know so look at the humans there's some human could be really evil you know Jeffrey Dahmer's or or Hitler or any of those or Kim Jong-un or or think about how many presidents in the United States that could be evil too you know what I'm saying but hey the list is endless I'm not gonna really go and talk about all of that huh but anyhow what I'm talking about is this friend I used to think he's a friend you know it's like similar to my ex-roommate I moved out of that place because they were playing against me and I'm, I'm one of those people who always if I feel somebody's doing me wrong I don't stick around I don't really live with that person and and pretend nothing happened I usually you know you know severed relations severed ties with that person because it's, this is who I am you know I don't sit there and pretend everything is kosher it's nothing nothing is really happening I take action similar to my like you know what I had a fight with my sister one of my sisters today no not today it was two days ago and because he she's friends with people who treat her bad she's friends with people who talk behind her back She's friends with people who gossip about her. You know what I'm saying? And my other sister is the same. They're, they're friends with people because they say, oh, you know, God is the judge. You know, we're going to do what God asks us to do, to be, to treat each other with respect and dignity. But what, what, isn't it two-way street? God says to treat each other with respect and dignity when, when the other person treats you the same. You can't be friends and talk to somebody who treats you like shit, basically, you know? And so that's something I could never wrap my head around. If somebody treating me bad, I don't want to be your friend, man. I'm not going to really wait for you to reform and be a good person. If you're already treating me bad, I, I want nothing to do with you, you know? And that's what's uh, the whole dilemma, you know? That's the whole dilemma of... of um, yeah, the whole dilemma of um, what's going on. You know, uh, this friend, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be longer that friend to him. You know what I mean? Because he made his bed, now he can lay in it. But um, I'm not going to really bother. Uh, I'm not really going to bother, um, you know, dwelling on things and say what if, what if, you know? people have they make their own choices you know i made my own you know what i'm saying at least i'm not i'm very good with my conscience i would never do people wrong i don't do people wrong you know what i'm saying because god has vengeance when you do someone wrong and somebody prayed against you you know god always if you do somebody unjust only person who could forgive that injustice is you you know if somebody did something to you physically harm you or verbally insult you or attack you or harm you in any f shape or form if you say god you know avenge me of the injustice i have received that prayer is lifted to the heaven to the heavens and god always answers god says in all things and i don't know it's in islam he says he will not he will forgive anything but all, all the things that you, have done, you have done to one another will never be forgiven unless the person forgive. You understand? So, so you have to understand. These people also who play in this game, they know because they're following universal laws. Uh, sadly, I must say, the people who are attacking you currently, they are following universal laws and they know what I just said to you is the truth. They know you're the only one who can forgive sins against you you know sins against god only god who can forgive you understand 
Yeah, and if you insult God and call him name and, and call him off his name and stuff like that, only God can forgive that, you know? But any other things uh, caused to uh, harm or anything to a person can be forgiven by that particular person. That way, you know, they, they're trying to brainwash people, you know, in the Bible. They're like, they tell them, oh, you know, you only forgive, you only, you only, you, 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 you what? You, what did somebody said to me on YouTube the other day? I can't remember the verse and, and stuff like that he said. He said something, um, something against us, something. I don't know. I can't remember the verse. I'm not Christian. But anyhow, it's something like if you don't forgive, God will not forgive you. It's, it's something in that line. But they know it's, <laughs> that's not true. You know, you know. The sins you have create, you know, you, when you attack someone or, or harm somebody, those sins could be forgiven by the person. And when um, the person, uh, God doesn't really link both of them. If you don't forgive an individual, God, uh, God is not going to forgive you. No, it's not like that. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? So... Do not really listen to those, you know, all teachings from, you know, different religions globally. Um, you know what I'm saying? Is, uh, is, uh, talks about that. Anything that is actually shows that uh, God only forgiven people when, when they don't uh, forgive others. That's, that's not really, that's like you know manufactured you know man-made so anyhow that's all i want to say so it help you understand um you know because if you don't want to forgive you don't have to you know you don't have to you know what i'm saying you just ask god to be the judge that's it say god be the judge what's happened to me the injustice that i've received to me or my family to anybody globally or whatnot be the judge just say that and just leave it at that. Just send it to the heavens. And see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyhow, um, as you can see, I st every time I record a video or whatever, people like, they started mowing the lawn, cutting the grass and making noise. You know? Oh, whatever. Anyhow, uh, have, I said what I have to say.